Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White The Greatest Battle We Face, March 7th Let everyone whose name names, who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White The Greatest Battle We Face, March 7th Let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19 The whole heart must be yielded to God, or the change can never be wrought in us by which we are to be restored to His likeness. By nature we are alienated from God. The Holy Spirit describes our condition in such words as these, dead in trespass and sin. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. No soundness in it. We are held fast in the snare of Satan, taken captive by him at will. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 5 and 6, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 26. God desires to heal us and set us free, but since this requires an entire transformation, a renewing of our whole nature, we must yield ourselves wholly to Him. The warfare against self is the greatest battle that was ever fought. The yielding of self, surrendering all to the will of God, requires a struggle, but the soul must submit to God before it can be renewed in holiness. The government of God is not, as Satan would make it appear, founded upon blind submission and an unreasonable, unreasoning control. It appeals to the intellect and the conscience. Come now, let us reason together, is the Creator's invitation to the beings He has made. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. God does not force the will or of his creatures. He cannot accept an homage that is not willingly and intelligently given. A mere forced submission would prevent all real development of mind and character. It would make us mere automations. Such is not the purpose of the Creator. He desires that his human being that human beings, the crowning work of his creative power, shall reach the highest possible development. He sets before us the heights of blessing to which he desires to bring us through, us, through his grace. He invites us to give, up, give ourselves to him that, we may work, that he may work his will in us. It remains for us to choose whether we will be set free from the bondage of sin to share the glorious liberty of the Son of God. In giving ourselves to God, we must necessarily give up all that would separate us from Him. Hence, hence the Saviour says, whosoever he, whosoever he be of you that forsake not all he has, he cannot be my disciples. Luke chapter 14 verse 33 Whatever shall draw away the heart from God must be given up. A profession of Christ without deep love is a mere talk, dry formality and heavy drudgery. Homeward Bound.